So recently I've been seeing this editing style all over social media where the sound design dictates the cuts. So I wanted to share four different editing techniques inspired by this style. The flicker fast cut. So for this technique, you're gonna need a page flipping sound or a flicker sound effect. Drag the sound into your timeline. So now the audio waveform will give you an idea of the rate at which you should make your cut points. So bring your clips into the timeline, highlight them, control click, change clip duration. Select frames and make an estimate of how long you think each cut point's gonna be. For this specific sound, I think it's gonna be super quick, around three frames each. So now highlight all the clips, go up to edit, delete gaps, and now they'll be in a tight sequence like this. So drag all of these in sync with your sound design. Now add in your music with the drop lining up with the last clip. So now we're gonna go to effects, search for adjustment clip and drag it above your first clip. Extend it one frame like this. In open effects, search for transform and drag it onto the adjustment clip. Hover the playhead to the start of the adjustment clip. Keyframe the zoom. Now hover to your cut point and change the zoom value to 1.3. Scroll down to animation and increase the motion blur all the way. Now we're going to remove that extra frame on the adjustment clip, select it, hold option, and duplicate it above all our other clips. A quick side note, this technique works nice with my camera flash transition, which you can download at the link in my bio. And voila, here it is. A moment to breathe. So for this, you want to find a wide shot with a large open space in it. So bring the clip into your timeline. Search for an atmospheric sound bed. This one doesn't really work. You want something with a deep rumbling bass. This one sounds great, let's bring it in. Now you're also gonna wanna find a cinematic hit. Not this. This one sounds clean. Let's add it in a frame or two before the cut point. And one of the keys to this technique is to let this shot hold for a few seconds longer to help create that contrast in the pacing. So this specific clip is pretty short. So here's a trick I use to extend the clip to last longer. Control click on the clip, change clip speed, change to 30% and drag it out. But now you see when you play it back, it's pretty laggy like this. So select the clip, go up to inspector, retime and scaling, and change the retime process to optical flow. And voila, it's super smooth now. So here's what it looks like paired together with the fast cuts technique and music added. Environmental interactions. If your camera ever interacts with the environment, say the camera is moving through leaves or sand or water, that's a perfect opportunity to take advantage of the sound design. So in this specific edit, we have a couple clips where the camera seems to duck underwater for a moment. This is the perfect time to get creative with the sound design. So first find the clip which ducks underwater and then chop out the audio for this clip. Drag it onto the layer below. Now we're going to go over to the Fairlight Audio tab and go over here to where it says A2, Effects, EQ. AU low pass, and then drag this point to around the middle here. Now when we play this back, this part of the song will sound like it's underwater. So now go back to the edit tab and adjust the fading and timing between your two audio tracks to time it up better. Finally, we're going to add in some extra splashing sound effects to top this off. Make sure to turn down the sound of these so they don't overpower the scene. Close up sensory moments. It works best if you have extreme close ups of specific objects in your video. Make sure you find high quality sound effects that are clear. The sound effect doesn't always have to be coming from the same object though. For example, right here I have a gun revolver spin sound to sound like this fishing rod reel. I'm also gonna bring in this sci-fi whoosh sound effect for this casting line throw out. But if you notice here, it doesn't line up perfectly in terms of length. So what you can do is control click on it, change clip speed and adjust it to 200%. Now, as you see, it fits perfectly. 
pitch correction is turned on so it'll retain the same pitch level. So ultimately don't be afraid to mess around with the speed of your sound effects as well. So here it is with just the sound effects. And now here it is all together.